Ready? Ah, uh, English, though her users mostly aren't, proved much more dominant than mortal will, outliving greater forces, lesser tongues. The language now seems off upon curious course, and as a rule, oft takes to be too far, as if hyperbole were fashion sense. For one may say, you are a reeking toad to him who seems a stinking saurian in character, yet this is metaphor. Or if a scoundrel steals another's things, yet overlooks some trifling possession, excuse the victim crying, it's all gone. What if our words could not reflect our realm, becoming cloaked in lacy absolutes whose deedle sheen affects infinity? Of late we'd less a need to, to think, to speak, methinks, and so our words append our thoughts and lose the name of action. The mirror of our mind is made of words, or else, as art, it may evolve away into a thing uninterpretable.